you've talked about sunscreen a little bit. If we're in the sun to try to get our vitamin D, well, we've been told anytime we go in the sun, we can't go out without sunscreen. What does that do to our, our uh, manufacturing of vitamin D and our overall health? So vitamin D uh, is blocked by sunscreen, absolutely. And um, it's really important that people know that what they should be doing first is according to their skin type, if they're skin type one, where they have hardly any melanin, maybe you, <laughs> if yeah, you have really probably. low, you have white skin, <laughs> no melanin, it's a type one. Type one patients, basically, we want, we tell them to go out in the sun uh, to where you get your minimal erythemic dose. And a minimal erythemic dose is when you start getting a little pink. That might be 20, 30 minutes for you, midday, mm -hmm. uh, summertime. So if you get your pink, pink or erythemic dose at about 20 minutes, after 20 minutes, you go in and find uh, either a shirt to cover up with or get in the shade or better yet, find a healthy, if you can, find a healthy sunscreen to apply to, f to block any further sun. Because what you don't want to happen is you don't want the um, further vitamin D, the further, further sun exposure causing a sun, sunburn. Once sure. you get a sunburn, that negates the vitamin D absorption. So that's really mm -hmm. important that you know that you must um, just get your, get your a minimal erythemic dose and then be done with it. Um, so that means that you shouldn't wear your sunscreen at first. You should apply it after you get your vitamin D exposure. Mm -hmm. Now I have type 3 skin and I take two hours to get um, a pink reddening, kind of a red erythemic dose. So it takes me two hours. It takes most people black, um, uh, African Americans over three to four hours. Mm. That because we have natural sunscreen. This blocks our UVB light. Um, and so you can imagine a lot of people, even my color, will slather the, the sunscreen on mm -hmm. so, uh, right away. So we're blocking our, our vitamin D. Mm -hmm. uh, all the more reason why you should be taking oral supplements.